five, knockout punching Don Grant, the newest star in the professional ranks, sensational young Floyd Patterson. Here's Grant acknowledging the cheers of the fans, an opponent who many say is destined to be the next middleweight champion of the world, Don Grant. As round one gets underway, two of the fastest punching middleweights in the last decade square off in what promises to be a tremendous contest. Patterson, in white trunks, throwing those punches in combinations of two, three, and four at a time. Boxing writers say Floyd is like a perpetual motion machine. Grant, in black trunks, has been running roughshod over everyone he's faced on the Pacific coast. Patterson is throwing those punches in from all angles. Grant was born in Cincinnati on January 28, 1933. He's... Look at those smashing punches by Patterson. Each blow in his flurries carries dynamite. Fast since young Ray Robinson came out of the amateurs in 1939. There wasn't much ceremony attached to Grant's turning professional in 1953. As like so many other young pros, he was an unknown quantity. But from the moment he beat Rudy Romero in his first professional fight, knowledgeable boxing authorities spread the word. Patterson lands an explosive eight-punch combination. Those were punishing shots and will certainly tend to wear Grant down. Another smashing left to the head, followed by three more combinations. Generally, this all adds up to mean future champion. Patterson was born in... He was nothing less than magnificent in, in 1952. Those were hard punches, Don Landon. Back with a series of devastating punches, which sends Grant reeling backward. This is a sensational fight. Watch Grant land a hard left-right... This marvelous round one draws to a close. Capable of beating a great majority of all of the professional middleweights fighting during that time. Put a grand finish on his amateur career, Floyd won a berth on the 1952 Olympic boxing team which competed in Helsinki. To the surprise of no one, he performed the His exciting combination punching style captured the audiences from all of the country. After knocking out Vasily Tita from Romania, to win the gold medal in the middleweight division, he was voted the outstanding boxer on the 1950. Both fighters have excellent left jabs, as you can see. The problem each is having is that his opponent throws punches in combinations and flurries, which is very difficult to defend against. When Grant turned professional in March of 1953, he literally threw himself into the professional ranks having 11 pro fights to of that year. Very quickly, his record of eight knockouts and three unanimous decisions caught the eyes of the New York boxing writers. Watch Grant throw a left, left-right combination. Patterson fights right back with five of his own. What tremendous action. Grant's fifth round knockout of Jesse Fuentes just two years ago was a startling win for a young man just nine months out of the amateur ranks. See Patterson bomb Grant with blistering punches. It takes marvelous physical condition to withstand that type of punishment. Floyd throw in a jarring left-right-left -left combination. Grant is taking some of Floyd's best punches and staying in there. He's going to have to punch three minutes around. Grant's two big wins are over Esau Ferdinand and Milo Savage, to middleweight. In tonight's fight, Don knows, as does Floyd Patterson, that this contest will surely come a challenger for world championship honors. As round three opens, it's obvious that Patterson has definitely taken command. His tremendously fast combination punches, combined with his incomparable stamina and ability to never let up, 
has unquestionably taken its toll. Now watch Floyd send in a blistering attack of every type of punch thrown in boxing. He's never encountered a man who has been able to withstand all of the punches, all of the pressure, like this courageous Don Grant. How can Grant stand up under such an assault? Only unbelievable courage is going to keep Don in there. It's a great tribute to the fighting heart of Don that he's been able to stay in there so long. Watch Floyd miss an overhand right. Will not cramp down, which is rightfully scored as a slip. Don gets right up, ready to continue. One year from now, will be crowned the youngest heavyweight champion of the world in the history of boxing to regain the heavyweight title. And the man who, years later, boxing authorities will agree, had the fastest pair of hands 50-year heavyweight division. Besides his fine fighting ability, is his tremendous intestinal fortitude and fantastic only a fighter with Grant's qualities could have stayed in there for four rounds with this buzzsaw. Watch the never-say-die Grant throw four lefts and a right. There, punch it. This young Floyd Patterson never lets up, never lets his man rest. And the round comes... As we go into round five, Patterson has put on an incomparable performance. Nothing Grant has been able to do can thwart this... A left to the body, a hard right uppercut. Floyd is hitting Grant almost at will. Watch this flurry of punches. Those punishing blows never seem... It's a wonder Grant doesn't go down. Floyd is determined to end it here and now. After a machine gun flurry of punches, Grant finally goes down from the accumulative effect of all the punishment he's taken. When Don rises at the count of eight, he looks towards his corner, which is motion to the referee to stop the fight. The referee decides the bout should not continue, and Patterson congratulates Grant on his one...